finally an American legend, Tony Bennett. And we begin here with his favorite song and the world record he broke this week. Someday when I'm awfully low, when the world is as cold, I will feel a glow just thinking of you. And tonight, we're thinking of him, because this week, Tony Bennett set a world record. At 88 years young, he is the oldest artist now to have a number one album in the world. And I asked him what he makes of it. Well, I'm thrilled about that because I've always wanted to be one of a kind somehow. And it happened. <laughs> the album Cheek to Cheek with Lady Gaga. Heaven, I'm in heaven. 60 years between them, but just a few feet in that studio. In a river or a creek, but I don't enjoy it half as much as dancing cheek to cheek. I don't think about her age because she's brilliant. I know I'd go from rags to return. He doesn't think of his age either. I asked him, what's his secret? I've never worked a day in my life because I love what I do, and I just love the fact that I'm getting away with it. Tony Bennett lost his father young. His mother was left to raise the children in the Great Depression. That's the reason I went into show business, because she was working so hard to raise three children. He served in World War II and has fought the critics for decades who said, you need to sing something more modern. I said, well, I'm just doing the great American songbook over and over again because it was the greatest music that ever came out of any country in the world. The good life. Tony Bennett and his wife just this week raising $1.3 million. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Donating it all to public schools, giving children a chance at the arts. Right now we have 17 schools, but we're working on San Francisco right now. Hoping they too will learn that great American songbook. But I'm convinced that 35 or 50 years from now, it'll finally be called America's classical music. And I don't consider them old songs, I consider them masterpieces. And the way you look tonight. And so we choose Tony Bennett. And what a joy that was.